real quick here and I, I'm ruining my uh, this is vlog uh, 18 I think I had to I had to get this out of the way before this uh, cheese uh, goes to waste this is njroot22.com vlog 18 it's a quick PSA this is a way for you guys to save some cash big time in your life the whole deal is cheese okay cheese plays a, a big part in a lot of people's lives people love sliced cheese shredded cheese blocks of cheese and so on i'm gonna get rid of my uh cheese costs a lot of money sometimes you get these these fancy aged cheeses sometimes 10 20 a pound it's ridiculous when you're making an omelet, 99% of the people cannot tell the damn difference between what kind of cheese is in there. They just want, they just want some creamy goodness in their, in their omelet, right? And what I want to explain to you today is a little tip, a little tactic. It's about these meat and cheese shavings. I'm going to try and focus here. Let's see if my focus works. See that meat and cheese shavings, 79 cents a pound. And in this bag is God knows what I, I, I know I've tasted Swiss. Munster, you can tell by the orange end. There's some cheddar, there's some American, there's some pepper jack, provolone, a Havarti. There's like 10 different cheeses in this bag. I guess when they get to the end of the block, they just take the shavings and then somebody scoops them into this, into a bag or a bin. God knows how dirty or clean this is. The whole point is for any family that wants to save money and just want to stretch their dollar out a little bit, don't go buying $10 a pound English cheddar. I mean, I love the Kelly's or whatever the hell it's named. I can't remember the name. I don't care. If you're making a freaking omelet for somebody and you throw like a handful of this mixed cheese in, it's going to be the best omelet ever. Cause they're like, man, it's creamy. It's delicious. It's, it's mysterious. It has, it has a, a, a big cheese, uh, uh, rainbow in it. Now here's the Deal. Not every shop right or supermarket has these bonus shaving ends. Let me add a little note. Meat, there's like liverwurst, ham, and turkey, and chicken, like chicken, chicken blocks. I mean, chicken shouldn't be reconstituted, but whatever. I mean, they have these bins where they have the ends of the whatever meat it is. Normally it's like 10 or 10 bucks, eight to $12 a pound like when it's fresh from the middle. Then you get to the end and there's this like whatever casing that keeps the meat blob together. When it gets to the end and the, like the last 5%, they, they cut it off and they, they charge like $2.99 a pound. It's typically Branchburg, ShopRite, and I, I believe Clinton ShopRite. These are in the central section of uh, NJ Route 22. They have these bins where you can find all these end cuts meat and i learned this from my father because he he wants to make his money last as long as possible and he doesn't care it's it's sustenance it's it's food it's food you eat food for fuel you don't eat been conditioned for the last few decades to treat food as as like some sort of entertainment venue that's not right really when you think about it. it like food is fuel no matter how you sugarcoat it or you you put fancy doilies on it food is fuel we need food to live another day and we've gotten into this fancy kind of eating out and linen tablecloth fancy dress and, and so on these meat and cheese shavings bags are not easy to find I'm like oh, i'm making a huge mess of my production studio here right? see we're gonna go on about, about the baggage here. There's a hole in the bag. I'll tell you why later. It's because they stick this sticker on here and when you take it off, it rips a hole in the bag every time. I'm gonna go on and on and on about this crap at ShopRite. It, it's, it's garbage, I don't like it. It's making my whole production studio a giant mess. A delicious mess, <laughs> but uh, Look, and there's all these oil marks now on, on my on my board here. Jeez Louise. If you're lucky enough to find the shavings, and I, I bet you there's a competitive group of people out there that want to get these shavings, because I can hardly find them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I have to buy, by the way, this black piece here is was purchased at, uh, at Michael's. It's just, I think it's a, a framing board. It was like five bucks, but I, you know, if you go on uh, michaels.com, you can get a 50% coupon or so on. 
to, to save some cash. I'm gonna need to buy another one because I have cheese out. It's gonna look like shit. I don't wanna ramble on for 10 minutes about cheese shavings, but you get these cheese shavings. This is like so perfect for almost anything. You just, you make an omelet for your family. You take a handful of this crap and throw it in there and it's delicious. Why do I need to pay $10 a pound for cheese? When I get, this is still cheese. It's just not fancy, perfectly sliced and like arranged in a, in a nice format. Like, like you're at some sort of buffet. It's just a blob of cheese. Cheese shavings. Look, here we go again. It's falling out. We're gonna talk about this hole, okay? This hole is crap. I hate ShopRite for doing that. Figure out a better way to bag this stuff, all right? I can help you for a fee. If you can find the cheese shavings, take advantage of it every single time. But only after I had my pick, because I don't want you guys like stealing my freaking glory here. 80 cents, I got a 1.01 pound of all this, it's so good. Who pays 80, 80 cents a pound for cheese? That's amazing. Anyway, this this is something that people should, when you when you go get to your checkout and you, you think you only have a few things in your, in your, in your cart, and it's $100, this is a way to, to make it less than $100. Like $90, <laughs> I don't know. This is something that, oh, by the way, they, they misspelled it. This, maybe this is why it's so cheap. It's meat and chess savings. Meat and chess, chassé, if you want to be French. Chassé, it's meat and chassé shavings. It's fancy meat and chassé shavings for 80 cents. I've had this bag for like a week. I've been using it for everything, like like my eggs, whatever I'm making. So I, sometimes I make some like, you ever have freezer week? Where you say, okay, it's time to go through the freezer and, and eat some of this stuff before it becomes like freaking like artifacts in some sort of museum. Say you have some like weird looking meatballs, you throw some meat and chassé shavings on it and boom, bada bing, it's, it's, it's the next freaking like five star Zagat, Zagat, Zigot rated meal on Yelp, whatever. Meat and cheese shavings. Have some due diligence, you know, exercise due diligence and, and, and look around your, your supermarket because uh, there's deals to be had. You just have to focus on, on, on doing that type of stuff and instead of your entertainment and your emotional stuff that you get wrapped up in. That's just uh, my two cents. I love these shavings and, and I'm a big fan. I'm the only one, again, it's like me and Aldi and, and cheese shavings were like a, a trifecta of, of fun, you know? I, I like to, to save money and make my dollar go. I'll have 20 cents left over for something else. <laughs> that's it, That that's this uh, vlog 18 for, for this, week, this uh, episode. I hope I didn't uh, ramble on too much. I did, and I'm gonna edit the crap out of it. It's gonna be down to like eight, seven or eight minutes, maybe even less. I have to get a new uh, board now. I don't think it's black on the other side. I think it's white. All right.